The United States keeps running out of lettuce, and the lettuce that we do have can sometimes cost up to $12 a head. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about why this keeps happening to us and what you can do about it in your own home garden. Imagine rolling up to your favorite Chipotle, like I often do, and asking for a burrito or a burrito bowl, and they ask you for the toppings that you want, and instead of the guac being extra, it's actually the lettuce that is extra. Believe it or not, that's something that's actually happening in small pockets around the country right now because of this so-called lettuce shortage. So to understand how this could possibly happen with the most valuable vegetable crop grown in America, which is lettuce, we first have to understand how it is produced on an industrial scale. There are three primary locations and two primary states where lettuce is cultivated in America, California and Arizona. And the first location would be the central coast of California in the summer. This would be the area of California that has the most mild temperatures as lettuce wants to grow below 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm here in my artichoke patch because in my garden, this is the area where the climate is most akin to that central coast of California in the summer with a shady, shady zone that keeps temperatures down in the heat of that season. In fall and spring, we now move to the San Joaquin Valley, still in California and known as the salad bowl of the entire country. So in my yard, this is my little salad bowl in fall and winter. The temperatures in the front yard raised bed garden are nice and mild and I can cultivate a huge amount of lettuce just right here. In the winter, we are now in Arizona where 30% of all US lettuce production takes place. So Imperial Valley and Yuma Valley are the two areas in the low desert of Arizona where this takes place. In my backyard, that would be this area where I get a lot of sun in the winter, make sure that the temps actually stay warm enough for that lettuce to produce. So basically there's this dance with three locations in two states that keeps sort of shifting throughout the seasons and that's how lettuce gets produced for most of the entire country. So you can see how there might become a problem when it comes to both temperature regulation and potential disease. Here is where the problem starts to show its ugly face. Case, you have two things you're battling. Number one, you're chasing climates where temperatures are suitable to grow lettuce in. You're never chasing those 100%. If you're in the San Joaquin Valley or maybe the Central Coast and temperatures spike for some period of time, you can get a huge amount of crop death that way, but you're also battling thrips, which are spreading two different types of diseases to lettuce and can kill them at a rate of 70 to 80%. Those two diseases are impatiens, necrotic spot virus, and pythium wilt, and plants that have one often have the other. So the death rate is extremely high. So if you combine those things with the fact that demand for lettuce across the country sort of remains semi-stable throughout the year. It's not a perfect flat line, but you know, we want our lettuce, we want our salads all the time. That's a big task for industrial production to keep up with. So you can see how one thing goes wrong, you get a massive swath of death, and then you get lettuce case prices going from about $40 a case up to over $150, and those cases are less full of lettuce at that price. We know three things about lettuce, my friends. Number one, it's the most commercially important crop grown in America. Number two, we lose a lot of it to disease or temperature issues, crop loss. And number three, it's one of the easiest things to grow in the garden. If you learn how to start the seeds, which we have a full video on, you really don't need to know much more. You wanna put it in some nice, rich, well-draining soil. Don't let those temps get above about 80 or so degrees Fahrenheit. It can even tolerate that for a little bit as long as you put some kind of shade over it. And the most important thing is that you don't have to grow some of the more basic varieties that are grown commercially like romaine or iceberg. That's almost all of the commercial production in fact. You can get into some really unique bespoke varieties which I'll share with you right now. I've got eight varieties of lettuce for you that are a little more exciting than your iceberg and romaine, all from botanical interests. So first of all, we've got Brentwood leaf lettuce, really beautiful sort of reddish leaves. They're higher off the core, so it's easy to cut them off for salad, very productive in small spaces, and they are slower to bolt. If you like romaine but wanna spice it up a little bit, go with Truchas Mini Romaine. It's obviously a little bit smaller, Deep red, easy to clean, nice and compact. So again, if you just have one raised bed, you can plant a ton of this stuff. Next up, Butter Crunch Butter Head, a delicious sort of creamy texture as the name would imply. It is extremely easy to grow and also is what's called an All America Selections winner, which means that the National Garden Bureau has selected it to be an exceptional variety. Ezrilla Leaf Lettuce is my next pick here. It has beautiful sort of frilly leaves. They are short heads and they grow relatively compact and uniform, meaning that if you're making a big old salad, you can come by with a harvest knife, 
cut them all off and you don't have to do any sort of prep because all the leaves are the same size. Rouge the Hiver, my French is poor, but this variety is not. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous variety. It's been around since the 1800s and it's incredibly cold tolerant for you lower zone growers. Little Gem Lettuce is probably the one you recognize if you've been out to a bougie restaurant anytime in the last couple years because it is their favorite one. A gem salad kind of always shows up on these menus and instead of paying them $42.99 in tax and tip, you can pay a few dollars and get a packet of gem lettuce and grow it out and it's incredibly productive and very delicious. Red Sails Leaf Lettuce is a really nice open loose leaf lettuce that you can grow in the summer. It's a little bit more heat tolerant. Oftentimes in the summer, lettuce will get bitter as it's exposed to more sun and more heat. Red Sails of course will, but it's a little bit more tolerant to those temperatures. Then we have Marvel of Four Seasons Butterhead, which is a head lettuce that starts out green and kind of goes to this sort of cranberry red at the edges. Hands down, one of the more gorgeous lettuce varieties you'll find. You can find all those awesome varieties in the video description, my friends, but seriously, just grow some lettuce. It is that easy to make a nice, fresh winter salad right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing.